Hi, I'm Joshua Mapt. Here we have the Seagate 5 terabyte backup plus drive. We're going to connect to our Mac, but when Mac usually connects, it's what's going to want you to have Time Machine take over and erase the drive. Watch out, because we're going to use their NTFS drive that's preloaded on here, and that's going to allow you to have your drive work for your Mac, read and write, take it to a PC, read and write. Here's how you set it up. All right, so we just plugged in our Seagate 5 terabyte backup plus drive, and Time Machine on the Mac says, hey, do you want me to back up your entire machine? As much as I'd love you to, Time Machine, I'm not going to. I'm going to say don't use. And uh, if you decide to use it and choose use as backup disk, it will format it. It'll format it Mac only. It'll erase the entire drive and install a Mac OS X journal partition. So that is not compatible with Windows. And my goal here is to not use it because I'm going to go inside it. And we've got some built-in software sitting inside here. So we've got the software, the Seagate dashboard installer. And then you can see a .exe file. And what that is, is it's a Windows installer. So on the Mac, I'm going to run the DMG. Just double click it, it's going to boot it up. So here we go, I'm going to install the software from Seagate called Dashboard. It looks like I've got an updated version available. It's going to run the download for it. When it's done downloading it, we can proceed. All right, so we finished that little download and it popped up the installer. They also want you to run product registration. I highly encourage it because you have a two-year warranty and this will make things easier if you have an issue. But I'm going to quit it. Nah, I'm not going to register it. So here we are and we've got the Mac installer. We also have a pop-up that came up here. So here you've got the option for Mac and PC or Mac only. Mac only, once again, is going to erase your drive just like your Time Machine would have. And keep in mind, if you let Time Machine do that, you would not have the option of installing this software, and you'll have to go hunt it down and download it. But I'm going to choose Mac and PC. And it tells us here that it requires the installation of included Paragon NTFS for Mac driver, which we're supposed to get here in the packaging. So let's proceed. All right, so here we have the installer now. And you can see you have the install the utility driver that's necessary as well as their software Seagate dashboard. Continue, continue, agree. Feel free to read all that information. What does Customize have to offer? Ah, I could choose which ones I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna install them both. And at this point, I'm gonna enter in my secret password that you'll never know unless you play that back in slow motion. Continue. When this is done, we'll be able to have full access to this drive and it should be NTFS, which means I could bring it to any PC and read and write the data just the same and fast as a Mac. So let's see what happens. And we'll double check it in the end by getting info on the drive that mounts. Should just take a few more seconds here. All right, so we have the installation successful. They want me to restart the computer. All right, so we just rebooted, and now our Seagate Backup Plus drive has a new icon. If we take a look inside, we've got the original content, and now it's formatted to work for Mac because we installed the Paragon driver, which in System Preferences, you'll see you've got NTFS for Mac OS X, and here it is. I could turn it off, or I could uh, uninstall it from here. So it uh, should be working. If I right-click it and say Get Info, uh, it does say it's Windows NT. It's got the Windows NT file structure. Can I save to it? A Mac cannot save to Windows NTFS, but look at that. I got a green plus sign and untitled folders sitting there now because I can now save to Windows NTFS because of that driver. Pretty cool. So if you want to have a drive fully compatible with Mac or Windows, this is an option where you're good to go. But we've got one warning. If I were to go into Time Machine and I say, hey, let's use my uh, Time Machine drive. Let's choose it. Use it. All right, we're good to go. We've activated Time Machine. It did not ask me that it needs to format it. But look, it failed. Why did it fail? It failed because Mac needs that special Mac OS extended journaled format, which is required. So guys, if, if you're, you you want to have Time Machine running, uh, you don't have to stop there. Feel free to go to your Disk Utility software. Uh, Disk Utility is going to give you the option to take this drive. Let's take the partitions. We'll make two partitions, split it half and half. You want to have the Windows NT file system on one. You want to have the Mac OS extended journal on the other. You could do that in Disk Utility. 
but you're going to lose whatever's on that drive. You might want to copy that cool icon. In any event, that's all you got. It's easy to work with, and now you can work on Mac or PC. Visit app.com to see a whole bunch of great external storage solutions to back up your computer.